Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Cat Dracula. And today we're going to talk about The Hatching, which is a Finnish horror movie about a young girl who brings an egg home, and it then hatches into a giant bird monster that may or may not be her shadow self. This is really <laughs> the origin story of Big Bird. When you yeah, yeah. Uh, the no, origin story of Big Bird. But uh, to be real... <laughs> This movie is actually about parental abuse, but not yep. physical abuse so much as mental and emotional abuse. In particular, this is about a young girl who is kind of being suffocated metaphorically by her mom and her mom's need for her to be perfect. Yep. And the whole movie is about this monster, which is kind of a metaphor for the parts of herself that she's buried deep down inside because she can't have it out in public because it would upset her mom. It's all the things yeah. that her mom won't let her be, or at least won't let her explore and figure out for herself. So this is a movie warning up front is a, is about parental issues. So oh, yeah. if any yeah. of if that's like a triggering subject for you, then be warned going in, or at the very least, watch the trailer and see if you can handle. Yeah, you yeah. Can if handle. you can't handle mommy dear, uh, not mommy dearest, um, but uh, good night, mommy. Yeah, good night, mommy. Good night, mommy. Yeah, yeah. If you couldn't, yeah. you can't make it through those movies. Yeah. This, is, this is good. This is good. <laughs> it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Good night, mommy. Uh, mommy dearest. Um, Hereditary. Hereditary. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, yeah. there's like a, there's an entire genre of, of mom issue of movies. Like, yeah. Motherly abuse movies. Yeah. You know, like this is a very, right up there with it. This is a very interesting one because the mom's abuse isn't as overt. It's way more subtle in, in the things that she's not letting her daughter do as opposed to like anything she's outright doing to the kid. It, yeah. Yeah. She's much more like the mom from Stoker. Yeah. You know, where... She's creating this mm -hmm. monster. Yeah. But in in fucking Stoker is largely through neglect. Yeah. And this one, it's like, no, no, no. You're you're creating this monster mm -hmm. because the kid's just trying to survive. Yeah. The you kid know? is trying to please you and trying to live up to your standards, but it's impossible because she's a fucking kid. Yeah. She's learning and growing and like she can't explore herself without it uh, being allowed to be ugly sometimes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but she, but her mom, her mom is like, you know, she wants to be an Instagram influencer. So she wants to present to the world this perfect family yeah. and this perfect child, even though underneath the surface, it's not perfect. She's cheating on her husband. Yeah. Um, her daughter is a fucking emotional wreck because she's trying to reach these standards she can't possibly reach. And her son is a fucking monster. Like, he's a little fucker. Yeah, like, know? he's like, he's just a fucking asshole. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, that's the, it, he's the kind of little brother that I'm like, yeah, clearly, that this wouldn't have flown, that shit would not have flown if yeah. he had, if that kid, the little brother had an older brother, he gets socked in the goddamn face. The, the brother sounds like a fucking spoiled brat most of the he time. Is, you yeah. Know? Like, 100%. And in the middle of all this, we have this bird monster, which is a really cool effect, by the way. Oh, yeah, like, it looks the, really good. It, it's a nice mix of puppetry for the face and, like, actually having someone in, like, a bird suit, like, to, to yeah. do it. And, like, and it's really fucking cool looking. Like, they obviously spent a lot of time on the effect and you buy it. But, like, the way the story goes, it's like the main character is, like, raising this child that is this bird monster. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nurturing this, um, yeah. this, this... It's nurturing this this this, res this resentment, yeah. Because well, what else is it gonna do? Because the thing that is resentful is her inner child. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the thing that's being twisted. But she ends up falling into the same trap her mom yeah. does. Yeah, and she doing does. all this thing her mom does to her, which just makes the creature more monstrous. Yep. You know, to the point where it's literally eating the neighbor's dog and killing people and yeah. fur further escalating up to the chain until the whole family's at risk, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's doing, much like uh, the girl herself, it's doing it in an effort to please her. Yep. So you know? warning, the dog does die in this. Oh, God, yes. 
and and you get to see the gnarly body parts of the dog. So um, be warned. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's at some point they bring out the corpse of the dog. Yeah. There's also a dead bird in this because the reason oh, why she yeah. takes home the egg in the first place is because she feels bad about the bird that her and her mom killed. Yeah, because in the beginning it's sort of like this woman's like doing this like Instagram video, mm. but then a crow flies into the house. Yeah. And, and it's a great metaphor, too, because the crow flies into this house that is full of glass furniture and like yeah. various like um, everything's fragile. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. glass. It's every glass house. Yeah. And the birds just slamming into things and like breaking the table, like breaking the chandelier, breaking all the like little glass statues on, on the yeah, fucking to walls. the point where actually the attempt to get the bird out of the house is what's causing yeah. all the destruction. Which is a great yeah. metaphor for the bird destroying the glass house. Yeah. And then later on, her raising this little bird creature that's kind of like her own inner yeah. like, demons. Yeah. And it itself, like, breaking the glass house over the course of the movie. Exactly. You know? you yeah. Know? Breaking the illusion that is yeah. everything, you know? You know? So it's a really well done and well thought out metaphor, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's very Jungian. Um, it is. It's extremely yeah. Jungian. In the real sense. Mm -hmm. And to give you like an example of what I mean by like the mom's kind of abuse is like a great example of it is like making her kid practice her gymnast stuff a little longer than she probably should. Yeah. Like after her hands are already blistered because it's got to be perfect. Right. So she's yeah. got to keep doing it over and over again. But like there's a point in which you're no longer practicing. Now you're just abusing the kid. Yeah. Now you're just hurting yourself. Now you're just, yeah. now you're just hurting them. You're going to yeah. get diminishing returns if she injures herself. Yeah. And she's on the verge of doing it if she keeps doing yeah, it. Yeah, so just, yeah, let the kid, let the kid rest, let the kid heal. Jesus fuck Christ. Exactly. You, know, like, you can't exactly. be 100%, 100% of the time. Yep. You know? 100%. <laughs> Ironically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of little things like that, you know? It's, it's well, also you, also it was um, the fact that she's talking about like her Olympic gymnast kid. Mm -hmm. And then you find out the kid hasn't even qualified yet. Yep. And then getting mad at her kid because another new student has joined the school and is better than her. And better than her, yeah. It's like, well, it's not her fault this kid came out of nowhere and is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Cause really fucking good. Because that's the way it fucking works. Yeah. That's the way that happens. There's always you know? someone better, right? You yeah, know? yeah. So, oh, it's, especially when you're a kid, sometimes yeah. that kid is way better. Oh, God. And it's, it's, it's gymnast stuff. Yeah. The more you grow, like the more you're going to have to like retrain yourself because your body's slightly yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Some people, some people are really, really good at or just have that knack for gymnastics. Yeah. They have that coordination. Uh, but the other thing I've also no I also thought was really funny that mm. I've noticed is that they also tend to be very small. They don't tend to go through the same like growth spurts as yeah. people. Like they don't, they don't necessarily stay really tiny but yeah like they're always on the slightly shorter side one funny little twist to this movie that i thought was kind of cool was that the character who turns out to be like the actually good parent of everyone involved oh in this God, situation yeah. is the guy that she's having the affair with the, the yeah. mom's having the affair with yeah like it turns out he's actually like a really good nice dude and he's got a kid of his own with that's a, that's a baby um and he actually cares about the baby and cares about the other kids but he can't. There's only so much he can do if the mom's being terrible. Yeah, yeah. You get the you get the real feeling that this this is a guy who had a tragedy in his life because yeah. his wife died, and then like he hooks up with yeah. the wrong woman. Yep. You know, and that wrong woman is the girl's mother. Yep. And her normal dad is is basically a fucking doormat. Yeah. You know, her normal dad has checked out long ago. Has long just given up any reins of like raising the kids or caring about anything to the mom because the mom's a control freak. Yeah. And has basically checked out from the family. So it's not surprising that he gets cheated on. And it's also not surprising that the kids don't turn to him for anything. Yeah. Because <laughs> what's he going to do? Yeah. He's not going to do anything, you know, it's... you know, but at the flip side, he's also not standing up for his kids. No, he's not doing not anything. at all. You not know, he's at not all. involved and in their lives. Yeah. And the fucking, the guy she's having the affair with the exact opposite. Yep. Yep. He's the exact opposite. Like he actually, he's very proactive. He's oh, yeah. very, he takes care of his 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 kid as best as he can, mm -hmm. you know. And when the mom crosses a line, he's just like, "That's it." Yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. We're done. You know, <laughs> you know. There's not. We're, we're not. No, 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 no. We don't need to have a conversation. You need to leave. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And with that said, it's probably a good idea for us to start moving into the spoiler territory so we can start talking about the end of this movie. Yeah. Um, but the the hatching, it's really fucking good. No, it's um, just hatching. 
Oh, just hatching? Just hatching. Hatching, yeah. It's really fucking good. I don't think it's on any specific platform right now, but you can rent it. Yeah, um, we saw it on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, we rented it on Amazon. I will include an Amazon affiliate link below if you would like to uh, rent it and give us a kickback by renting it through that. Know that uh, it's about parental abuse and neglect. It is. Uh, it has two animal deaths throughout it and yep. child deaths, but it's got a really cool monster. It's got a really cool metaphor that it really nails home, and it's just a really well-made movie. I've seen it listed as a comedy, but I I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe in the Shakespearean sense. Like, I'm sure there were there was funny moments, but for the most part, it felt like a very serious horror well, film. It's a horror, it's a horror movie with like, well, we'll yeah. get to we'll, we'll yeah. talk about the end when we get to it. It's not bad Milo. No. <laughs> no. Like you go in thinking it's gonna be like bad Milo or Shaw yeah. the Dead. Uh-uh. You know, which I go to Bad Milo because it's another movie about a character who has a monster that's a metaphor for something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, like I said, this is only a comedy if you're using Shakespeare's death. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, let us move on to the spoilers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, man, where to start? Uh, Who? So throughout this movie... The characters keep mistaking the bird creature for um, the for the main girl, character because for the girl. As the movie goes on, it looks more and more like her. Yeah, as it goes on, and the more it kills people, the more it starts actually resembling her. It starts losing its beak. It literally yeah. like falls off. Yeah. You know, revealing the face underneath and it starts looking more humanoid. So unfortunately, you only get so much of the bird monster portion of it. Um, and then towards the end of the movie, it's literally her playing the monster scurrying around. Yeah. yeah. The movie ends up culminating after the bird creature tried to attack the, uh, the, the, what's the, what's the male version of a mistress? The, uh... <laughs> oh, the, uh, the the other man. The other man. I guess. You yeah. Know, I did. Tries to attack the other man's baby. Yeah. He kicks them out of the house because he's convinced that it was the daughter trying to do that. Yeah, because it looked like her. And it's like, fuck you and your kid. Get out of my house. Yeah. No, I'm not going to put my kid at risk for you. You know, and, and the thing is, is that there's even like that logical problem of like, when well, you know, it couldn't have been the girl because she was nowhere near. Yeah. The place she was at the that. gym competition. Yeah, she was at the gym competition. So it's not even like it's in her head, and like like there's actually a monster running around. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's 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 separate from her. But this guy is like, I don't fucking care. I know what I saw. I know yeah. it doesn't make any goddamn sense. But there was something that looked like her and axe looking at my fucking kid. Yep. Fuck that. Get out of my house. Yep. You know, like, and I'm like, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So after a bunch of mistaken identity moments like that, the movie ends up culminating in them revealing, re realizing that there is two of them and the mom trying to help the daughter kill the bird creature who's now more humanoid. Yeah. Um, while the rest of the family looks on in horror because the dad's a doormat and the son's just an asshole. Yeah. And this culminates into a finale where... In her attempt to kill the bird shadow self creature, she ends up killing her daughter, leaving only the shadow self left. Yeah. Leaving only the parts of her daughter she was trying to hide. Yep. This is one of those movies where like the literal metaphor mm -hmm. that you've got going on and what it means shifts, but it always mm -hmm. stays focused on this is the thing that was being repressed. Yep. This was the thing that was being suppressed. Repression, that's repression. a good word, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. there's a lot of repression. Repressing the animal self, repressing yeah. the negative impulses, repressing like, you know, her anger towards like her competition, which the only reason why she even has that anger is because her mom, puts, her so, mom. Yeah. put so much pressure on her, right? Yeah, because like, it, quite literally, because like she's not even, when her friend does better than her, yeah. she, without the influence of her mother, She's just happy for her friend. Yeah, yeah. You know, but once the mom comes in, that Put, changes. Puts all that pressure on her and all that stuff, and now she kind of resents her friend. Lo and behold, the creature tries to kill it. Yeah. 
just like it kills the dog when the dog's barking all night and she can't sleep. And eventually goes and kills the baby because the baby, there's a point in which they move out of the dad's house because she decides that she's gonna go live with the other man. Yeah. And she, because he's a more perfect family for her because he's he's the handsome fucking, fucking yeah. carpenter dude. Yeah, yeah. And she starts doting on his baby more so than she does her two kids. Yeah. Like giving them way more love and attention. Oh, you're so perfect or whatever. All compliments. Yeah, you can tell that basically what has happened is that the girl was perfect until the son was born. Yeah. And then the son was perfect and the daughter was kind of yeah. forgotten. But now this is continuing. You know? So the bird creature, her shadow self, the the alternate like tethered version yeah. of her, yeah. to use the us metaphor. Yeah. Uh goes and tries to attack the baby at that point because now the baby is sucking up all the attention and, and yeah yeah vibes. she is now jealous of the yep. of the baby you know you know so the creature it represents her jealousy it re represents her animalistic fucking urges it represents her anger it represents uh her negative viewpoint of herself mm -hmm. you know it, it's it why it keeps looking more and more like her absolutely know? it represents everything she can't accomplish because of all the pressure and you know, it, it's it's the thing that's waiting to bottle up that she's bottling up that's going to explode. Yep. And it explodes in the form of this creature. And at the end of the movie, it's all that's left. The yeah. mom has successfully killed all that was good and great about her daughter and left only the dark parts, the parts she didn't want to see. Yeah. Now it rises. And as it does so, it's just smiling. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> the Ooh. fucking bird god. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. That's what you get for killing me at the beginning of the movie, movie motherfucker. Fuck <laughs> you. You know, like, you have oh, been cursed. <laughs> I've cursed your ass. Well, because here's the thing they killed a crow. So you know oh, that that's bad. Yeah, yeah, that's always bad. You know they're cursed from the get go. <laughs> yeah, like, that's one of those things. It's like, why don't, why don't people kill crow? They're afraid of them. <laughs> They're fucking afraid of them because it's like, like there was a fairy curse or some shit. Oh you know, yeah, like well, curse. like she, they were the they were the, they were the symbol of the uh, of the, the Morrigan, the oh, uh, yeah. the, the the Phantom Queen. Yeah, you know, she who represented the 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 dark kind <laughs> of underworld aspect of Ireland. Yeah, you know, like so. We're in we Finland in this movie. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, well, even even crows are always associated with uh, gods. Of yeah, yeah, death. For sure, you know, because they sure. hang around corpses. You know, that's why they often know? have like the, the the bird face on on gods of death. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like you know, o like Odin, Hell. Yeah, uh, they have, they're even yeah, they're, they're, it goes all the way back mm -hmm. um, to the point where sometimes even in those cultures where they're not specifically associated with death, they are associated with crossing into the underworld for or, sure, or for sure, the spirit world. You know. 100%. It's it's a universal symbol that you hear ca crow cawing. You hear that crow call. <laughs> it's why the movies do it all the time. Yeah, you know, yeah. Ah, ah, that's like that warning. Yep, yep. You know, bad thing because that's what the crow does. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is just a really fucking good movie. You know, it's another mm -hmm. one of those monsters as metaphor for a thing a person's going through, but it's a really yeah. well done one. Um, it's got cool effects, even the cool beheaded dog effect. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Well done. Good. Uh, bird good creep. Bird creature's fucking adorable at the beginning, even though it's fucked up. Even though it's like ugly. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a perfect combination of like completely ugly yeah. and kind of adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so you kind of feel bad when she starts resorting to her mother's tactics to raise it. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. Because it's like, well, it's, it, it, it thought it was doing something good. Yeah. You know, yeah. it thought it was doing something good. And you're like, I, 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 oh man, I can't stay angry at you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Two other like details that I really loved is the fact that one of the things clearly uh, that is a sticking point with the mom is she's got this huge scar on her leg. Oh yeah. She's got this yeah. huge scar on her leg. They only see a couple of times. Her imperfection. Yeah. yeah, her imperfection. And in the fight with the daughter, she mm. is literally inflicting the same wound upon yep, her. Yep, that happens. Yeah, and the other thing, which why, which some people are like, oh my God, is it a good ending or a bad ending? I think it's a good ending. But you got to be a little ghoulish, mm -hmm. you know, like this is like, aha, the tables have turned because the other thing, the other part of the girl dying and leaving the bird creature behind yeah. is she does the one thing that her mother never does. Yeah. Sacrifice her for, yeah. her, for the child. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because she puts herself in harm's way to protect the bird thing. Yeah. 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 She's like, no, you can't kill this thing. You know, yep. like that's fucked up. She sacrifices for her child. Yeah, exactly. She's a better mother. Yeah. It's yeah. also the first time because throughout this movie, 
to, to, to further show how much her and the bird creature are linked, when she gets hurt, the bird creature gets hurt. Yeah. And vice versa. The only time that doesn't happen is when she is stabbed and killed and the bird creature doesn't die too. It's left behind because yeah. like, because it's all about the stuff that the, the kid has learned to do to itself. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and and in that last moment, that's not about punishing herself. That's yeah. about trying to save something. Yep. You yep. know, that's trying to save the inner child as, as twisted as it may have become. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and in the end, she succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> she succeeds, you know. So it's a happy dark it's ending. It's a happy dark ending, you know. <laughs> to be fair, you do kind of feel like the mom finally got her comeuppance at the end. Oh, because fuck yes. Holy shit, does that mom get on your nerves by the end of it. Oh, dude, they make you wait for it. Oh, God. They make you wait for that. Like literally the last moment of the movie, you know, holy crap. I, I it's, it, it's a bunch of microaggressions. Oh, it's way a bunch of microaggressions. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm looking, let me put it this way. I noticed the pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I recognize that pattern. It's pretty, it's pretty nasty, you yeah. know? And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Oh, you can find me on Twitter. If you need more information than that, my account is at Counting Jack. One word. Uh, I stream during the week, uh, both on YouTube and Twitch. My Twitch account is count underscore Jacula. And uh, I always try to put out a tweet whenever I stream. So if you want to be informed moments before I go on, follow me on Twitter. I also have an Instagram account, but like, I don't post there that much anymore. What about you? Y'all know me, I'm The Horror Guru. You can find me at The Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram and Facebook. Just look up The Horror Guru or Blood Spider Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you're notified of our videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to comment below and be sure to comment below using the hashtag birdmom. Use the hashtag birdmom, that way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows you watch this vlog all the way through. And this is the last vlog we're recording this week, so I'm gonna go rest my voice and maybe get something to eat. Peace out. <laughs>